Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back again with another one of these um, Sequence of the End Times videos. So this one should be quick, but um, I was just going through um, the New Testament and um, came across uh, this in Romans. And um, for me, I would say, you know, I've done enough of them to where like it's it's absolutely conclusive in my mind that that's what the Bible is is expressing in the last days. But for me personally, I just find the numerology incredible. Um, it's kind of like geeky, <laughs> nerdy for me at this point, but it's just, it's incredible. There's like so many um, consistencies with um, the position of verses that, um, you know, I'm just admiring it, you know, basically. And I think it's just incredible. So uh, Romans 1, I'll start at 14. Um, you know, this is Paul, you know, in his ministry, um, starting at 14, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So this is in 14. This is for God's elect that will be in all nations, you know, in the last days. And it's because of this um, net, you know, that Paul is casting, you know, with um, all people to really anybody who will receive it. Verse 15, so as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. Verse 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek. And so if you um, look up that word Greek, you know, in the blue letter, it's the term Helen. Strong's G, 1672, Helene, Helene. Okay, Helene. A Greek either by nationality, whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek island or colonies. In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the, the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference is to a difference of religion and worship. And so this is Paul preaching to anybody that will hear, you know, and then we have references in other parts where, um, you know, the gospel is preached and then the people that it was meant for reject it. And then God just says, go and invite anybody, you know, whoever you can find. And then this is an amazing thing, you know, and this is why the true worshipers in the last days are going to be worshiping in spirit and in truth. And so um, that's how we know, you know, who are the people that um, receive this message, you know, in Paul's time and are back here on the earth right now to receive salvation, which I believe is going to happen soon. So that's an incredible thing, you know, just in verse 16. But right there, we have a reference to salvation. Okay, check. And so, you know, this is another very important um, verse in uh, 1 Thessalonians um, 5, 9. The entire Bible is consistent. It's, it's incredible. You know, um, 1 Thessalonians 5, 9, if you add 5 plus 9, that's 14. That's for God's elect. For, uh, for God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. So prior to wrath, there'll be salvation. And not a big shocker, that's again here in Romans 1. So Romans 1, 16, like I said, talks about salvation to everyone that believeth. Verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written. So it's the faithful preaching a message, you know, to create more faithful, you know, and that's an amazing thing that we have that ability um, depending on the amount of faith that God gives us which is a gift. Uh, I'll read 17 again. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, they shall live, by, the just shall live by faith. The souls of the just complain continually. That's one thing that they're going to be doing in the last days because of this beast system. Verse 18, 666. Then we're going to get a reference to wrath. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. And so that's talking about the last days, you know, and then we're being told, you know, in other parts of the Bible to um, leave the wrath of God to God, you know, and then do good to our enemies. You know, this is what we're called to do. And then I would just highly recommend for people to just avoid them, you know, in the days that we live in now. Um, there these people are just programmed to like like we're about to read here in Romans to uh, be Antichrist. And so um, that is a very loving thing to do in these days. But not a coincidence that that wrath of God is talking about is in verse 18, 666. That's in the last days, the days that we live in now with a beast system. Verse 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has showed it unto them. 
everybody knows God exists, okay? Like, um, we just know it now in technical sense, you know, with the flat stationary earth. And then um, everybody knows that God exists. You know, this is um, absolutely insane. Um, anybody who's like spouting all that other nonsense, they're just actors, you know, and liars. Verse 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even in his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. And so this is also consistent with Revelation 16, which describes the wrath of God, and then God saying that they will not repent. They will not. They continue to blaspheme God, even though God has made himself manifest. He's literally in the sky, you know, returning, you know, with his angels and then perform this salvation event prior to the wrath, like I read in 1 Thessalonians 5, 9. And they still don't want to say that that's God. They're going to fight against God, you know, and this is the kind of spirit that God has put in them. So just know that these people all know what's going on. You know, they know what team they're on. And, um, they're very calculated about it. So we have to be careful when we uh, maneuver with them, avoid them, I would say. Uh, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, verse 22, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You know, um, the fool has said in their heart, there is no God. Uh, these quote unquote atheists. Verse 23, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible men, man and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. So they worship the, the creation and not the creator. And um, that's, um, that's an incredible thing, you know, that um, the gospel is going to be preached in the last days and people are going to be reminded to worship the creator and not the creation. And God's right hand side will hear that. And so um, just know that. Um, Revelation 16, 11, this is, uh, this is during the wrath of God. The elect have already been taken away because this is um, after the fifth angel poured out his vial. So they've seen Christ in the sky with his angels and then the two witnesses. And they still do this and blaspheme the God of heaven because of their pains and their source and repented not of their deeds. And so um, they have what's called a reprobate mind. They're not able to accept God and then they're programmed to be that way. Um, verse 24, wherefore God has also gave them up to their uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And so um, these people are, are going to be subject to the wrath of God. Their, their spirits are back here on this earth right now. And um, God is essentially just collecting them and then now tagging them, you know, with the mark of the beast and then they're going to be tormented with plagues and then burned. And so uh, just know that. And so all of everything that's happened in human history is culminating to the days that we live in now, where God is now showing us these people, you know, who've replaced him with everything else, you know. Oh, no, don't trust your immune system. Trust this, you know. Um, don't, you know, pray to God because he doesn't exist. Um, don't talk about what God would want. Who cares, you know, and then... Um, uh, don't, you know, um, treat people fairly and, you know, pay them with, with fair wages or anything like that. Don't, you know, and then if, if you want to use animals for experiments or whatever, just go ahead and do that. You know, it's like the God has been completely replaced everywhere. Religion, you know, finance, government, everywhere. He's just kicked out, get away. And then so God's going to reintroduce himself to this world. It's not funny, um, but um, he's going to reintroduce himself into this world and um you know conduct uh, the wrath of god like we're reminded of here in romans and then it's described in revelation 16 hope everyone's doing well bye